Hey all, I'm Paul Reese, an engineer with the developer relations team on Google ML, and this is the ML on Raspberry Pi with MediaPipe series, where you will learn about the basics of machine learning, along with how you can use Google's newest on-device machine learning tool, MediaPipe, to add more useful features to your own Raspberry Pi apps. In this video, you're going to learn some high-level concepts behind machine learning with natural language processing, or in normal terms, working with text. You will also see an example of how you can perform text classification on your Raspberry Pi with MediaPipe tasks. While the way machine learning can work with text is surprisingly nuanced, a simple version of what happens is that words and letters are represented by numbers through a process called tokenization. Then those tokens are processed to associate them with the likelihood of whatever is trying to be classified. This can be organizing documents based on their topic, classifying spam, determining if a movie review is positive or negative, or even laying the foundation for things like language detection and on-device translation. Though the fact that this is an IoT device means that there's a lot of other things that all of you devs and makers out there can create to do way more interesting things. Also, honestly, going into detail about the inner workings of natural language processing could take an entire video series in and of itself. So fortunately, we've already put one together. You can find the link to the Natural Language Processing Zero to Hero series playlist down in the video's description. For our purposes today, a lot of the machine learning logic behind this is very similar to what you've already seen with image classification and audio classification. All right, so let's move on to the actual code part of this video. Text classification is definitely the easiest of the MediaPipe tools to use because it really just comes down to text in, result out. So I don't really have a fun project built for this video, but I would definitely love to see what you all come up with for this task. To start, make sure you install MediaPipe on your device with the following command. You will also need to make sure that you have a model stored on your device. There's a variety of ways you can do this, including using the wget command from the terminal that you can see here to get a stock model that has been tested already. Since I'm not using a custom model for this example, I'll use this exact command to retrieve the model in the same directory as my Python script. The model that I'm using in this instance is called BERT classifier, though specifically the mobile BERT model. This model is known for having a high level of accuracy for classification, and the one we linked to from the MediaPipe developer documentation was trained to classify sentences as either positive or negative. And similar to other videos, I'm going to focus on the important parts here to perform classification. But if you want to see an entire example project, you can find the GitHub link to our official text classification sample below. Now, let's get into a new Python file. You'll need to make sure you import this set of dependencies specifically for text classification with MediaPipe. After you have those, you can initialize your text classifier. Because this task is a lot more simple than the audio or visual task, I'm only going to set the model path here and then create the classifier. But there are other options that are available to you including the maximum number of classification results that you might want back, which is useful if you're using a classification model that can output more than one label. A confidence score threshold that must be met before a result can be returned from the model, or category allow and deny list that restrict a classification to only being of a set type or preventing a set type from being returned. This is useful for when you have a larger classification model and need to refine what the model does based on the given context at the time. Keep in mind that you can provide either category allow list or category deny list. Using both will cause an error. If you watch the other videos in this series, you might also recall that the other tasks have used a callback function because the inference happens asynchronously. This isn't the case with text classification because it happens so quickly. So you can just call classify to get your result object back in the same section of code. This result object for this is also pretty simple. It will contain a list of possible categories from the model, as well as the confidence score in that category being correct for your input, like you can see here in this data structure example. After you've received your result, you can do something with it. For now, I'm just going to print the result category and the score to the terminal, but I'm sure you all will have way more interesting ideas for MediaPipe task text classification with your Raspberry Pis. And that's it. Like always, we're excited to see all the cool things you make. So please share them with us online and in the comments below, and I'll see you in the next video.